Hello and welcome to my coding session where I am programming in Java a bucket manager which is a JavaFX application for managing XML files. Uh, these files consist of a satellite channels information. So uh, I proceed with a UI tests. Now I took some time of the camera and written some tests, not many, actually I did spend some time on writing only one additional test. And what is it all about? So, uh, this is, uh, let me just quickly show you my current FXML file, which is UI. So I did manage to make it, uh, to make it international. If you load the application, you see the places. This will be populated with the data from the properties files with the appropriate names. Currently, by the I have default situation that I am uh, that I that I am displaying only the menu in English language, but it's not such big trouble. Interesting. A part will start with all of the checkboxes which I need to verify and check. And I have written additional test. I mean in regards to my all previous test in for, for UI. So the test name okay here uh, let me just do quick overview of my test this will be pretty important here I have a start method which each time uh, loads my graphical user interface for each of my tests and the test executed and that's it so now this is a method which verifies that I can create main view object my main view so to speak uh, next method testing if the title has been shown this is the title in the window which I show which I create and the next test is to verify that the menu which you see on the screen is in English basically later I think I need to make sure that I actually having only default because I'm testing here English this is a default uh, status of my program pre default I would say basically and the next test is testing if default language checkbox selected so I add a checkbox to my preferences menu so checkbox for the preference in the menu what it gives away if the checkbox for the preferences is selected it means the application use data from the preference file currently I did not implement implemented yet because I need to determine what exactly I need to set up as a preference but I basically see the pattern of data which I need to to make to make sure that is set up and here I am testing the behavior of my menu actually and this is pretty it was quite be challenging because in test if X in current version which I have which is let me just quickly go to my POM XML yep. so I'm using test fix version I'm using test fix version 4013 so this is the version which I use for testing my FX Java FX and the problem was uh, Test fix does not. Uh, it has not appropriate uh, testing method for checking uh, checkboxes. 
not yet at the moment but anyhow I did succeed it so how it how how it works so first of all when I is execute this test testing if default language uh, testing if language box selected and let me just quickly pause okay so what is all about this test which I have created it checks first of all if in my menu checkbox for preferences is not selected then it checks the checkbox of the English language in the length menu and uh, basically if it is the case that only that I have actually two conditions to check the condition of my checkbox state and the condition of my checkbox state for the language which I have selected per default in my application let's just look at my preferences I'm pretty sorry that <coughs> that's you hearing the sounds because somebody making a renovation but I hope it will give you right now better understanding what I'm saying about so how it, it is works in detail first of all I need to get the status of my preference checkbox and I basically I need to do some refactoring rename and I need to make sure that is obvious I like obvious names now let's just go to the get state checkbox preferences get state uh, where it is basically let me just quickly look it up so what is next and um, here I uh, have the method uh, which actually getting the state of the checkbox and here in this method I call another method which has almost identical name let me just quickly look it up um, get state of checkbox let me just um, rename it because it's always a good thing to, to do that right so what this method actually does um, let me just go from the beginning I'm calling get state of checkbox preferences and I will just rename it like rename it like get actual actual state of checkbox checkbox state preferences and, and now it gets uh, it the attributes to this method which I pass preference check state menu list and after that I'm iterating over the menu list here and I calling another method which iterates over the menu item because a menu bar have menus many menus now I have menu and then I extract here the appropriate items in the menu and get hold of a needed element and then return the, then return the state and after doing that you need to imagine that here I getting the result for the checkbox of the preferences here I am saving this result and here I'm returning it to back to the first call of get actual state of checkbox preference which is in the method get state of the checkbox preferences here so basically here I'm getting the result and this result I am actually using 
in the get state of checkbox and after that I am after I done so I passing so I, when after I got actual result of the checkbox preferences I return it and here this method this is actually an update method and better I think for better understanding what I'm doing here refactor rename get state get updated state updated state and I'm I getting the updated state Okay. So basically, you can find this code on on my GitHub uh, GitHub repository. But once again, how I did structured, I call a method which calls other method which calls other method, and then the result of the last method in the calling list of calls returns the, the value actual value and yeah not I think it is not so I would say how say how I will say it pretty fast understandable but I think you can get the idea so and the only reason why I done so because of a problem in the test fix which cannot hold get the hold of a checkbox element object checkbox objects yeah so, but anyhow, when I execute this test, I run it and and this actually doing following. It even makes sure. So let's assume I get the situation where done my preferences and this would be like done in the future. But idea, it is... Uh, all about design which which I plan for the future in small iterations and for the future I have an idea if I load preferences into my application I will put uh, I will select the checkbox in my view so it will it will go like this let me just quickly draw on the on the board so here is my UI and and here are the properties preferences better to say preferences preferences so in the future probably this is my UI and in future it will be probably work like this I I load my preferences into application so as I draw the lines which actually shows the data path so preferences will be loaded in the into the application and if it is it, and if the file is loaded into application it will automatically during the creation of the UI will check the checkbox preferences and preferences will basically will be like user what actually user likes to see first when the application is created did the directory paths are set up and did did you was the language set up and so on and so on but most important thing uh, when I will execute my tests my application will test my test will uncheck these preferences 
and the language here will be like English automatically and English checkbox will be checked because I show you English language and and this is very funny thing because it sounds difficult but in in reality it should be pretty easy but anyhow it's we re it's really important to think about this so right now I do not have any preferences in my application right now I need to make sure that my behavior of my checkbox is uh, a valid one and this is what I'm doing with my next test actually but this test works for checked and unchecked situation so you can if you like it you can get git clone from from my github and make you yeah you can you can watch you can edit my code and watch how it behaves when when the fxml is edited where i mean you can edit fxml the place where checkbox is selected so if you open like scene builder let me just show you let me just quickly show you the example what happens and this will be quite sufficient so basically when i check my preferences is selected selected file save then i need to update uh, the view in my eclipse and then i can execute the test you saw that so it it puts automatically the ui at the test to the default situation when you run this test because you need this state you think you need to think about the states pretty 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 hard it's so important to think about states in your application and i'm making sure with all of this test that i'm always getting predefined state of my ui so i can actually get some quantifiable results but even more important uh, to say following that it is um, testing with test fix is not so difficult but you make some ideas around you need to make some ideas around that because you don't have all needed methods for testing all of the control elements in JavaFX but anyhow this was very important to, to do because uh, I basically getting my behavior of my UI pretty uh, I will say measurable so I know that my UI behaves exactly as I expect I have no bad situation with UI so let me just quickly refresh it don't need to save it now it should just simply run without any additional mouse moves yeah so it basically goes like this well this is actually all pretty 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 fine but what about other situations so Another thing which I need to check it is um, with let me just open scene builder so the user currently have the ability the, the option to pick many checkboxes like so but if you do that and I did not so if you if I don't know if I don't catch all of the checkbox states um, I have a problem so basically I need to 
make sure that only one checkbox is selected when you do some interaction interaction with the box so if I like just imagine the behavior I need to I don't know if I have this situation all other all other checkboxes should be automatically deselected and when I switch here then this box should be deselected so the rule is to make sure that I can select as a user only one box and this is what I'm actually thinking about because it is important to make to make to make sure that you do that if you allow the user to select two boxes then it will will make no sense because the change of the box actually change the, the language of the program I mean of the main menu not of the whole program at all but it change the main menu sure I can then add support for my um, preferences menu preferences screen dialog window so to speak but it is important to, to make sure that this should be over uh, <laughs> sorry so this is this preferences can be selected anytime and actually if I click on the just on the menu it is not selected but if I click on the checkbox it is selected so this I should uh, handle too th this operation but this is pretty obvious what to do mm, another thing will be uh, with other stuff but yeah it can and ca it can get pretty 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 crowded with tests and then basically uh, try to, to manage the amount of lines in my unit unit test class so basically when I'm done with my language uh, language test I basically create another unit test for the same for the same for formula because all of the other things need to be done separately maybe this will be structured this uh, the testing of the safe option open option preferences option quit option will be checked uh, by creating another unit test. I mean it makes sense. So here it will be the same and yeah you need to check all options you need to put some I need to put some code and to put here some elements too but it start to get interesting how I will do all of that because as I said earlier I do not um, I do not design stuff in advance I design the stuff on need to know basis do I need to know the whole architecture right now I don't need it but I need to architect uh, at small iterations so that it will at the end can be <coughs> used with all of the on other parts of my application so basically now when I switch to my application I need to write a new test and this is will be basically all about checking the selection of language so remember I can I have four boxes for, for four different kind of languages each box as long as one of the boxes uh, selected all other boxes should be switched off and I need to write a test which basically which basically maybe I need to write even even more tests because let me just quickly think of so I will write a test where I am checking for different kind of languages testing 
four different link menu link link menu CHK uh, boxes. And how it will how it will go? Well, I have an expectation that at the end of my test I will get true because I'm iterating over four different boxes and each time I checking all uh, I'm making sure that all other boxes are not selected. And basically, I need to use some value here. Actual result, I'm setting it to the false because I'm I'm thinking about it always that is that it can fail. And I need to put some assert equal. And I need to put some tests here. And in the text, I will write. Uh, one of the too many too many language box boxes are selected only um, please uh, notice 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 only one only one box is allowed so to speak and yeah so I'm testing four different long menu checkboxes and yeah I need to to, to pass the appropriate values actual result comma and and that's it so now I have my test and how how I will go how I will go about so basically when I run my application the default situation that one box is already selected anyways but I need to count int counter uh, number of boxes number Basically, I need to count the, the cases where I have only one box selected. Count, count, on count state where one box selected. Yeah, I did pick up some name which has long description but I think it is important to some point you need to take you need to think about that your code will be maintained not only by you but rather by the other people and you sometimes you need to pick up different kind of names and this is the way how it should go now doing set I need to be able to get hold of the menu and I'm basically doing the same code like here and basically I'm getting hold of the menu okay and now I need to figure figure out that I am so I need to iterate over this menu okay for each so I'm iterating over this menu and I need to what I need to do I need to found, find out the place so 
so I have menu bar in the menu in the menu bar I have many elements let me just quickly look up this code okay so basically yeah I have a menu I have many made many menus in let me just quickly think of it um, So, my menu list iterate over menus. See here, I'm getting, I'm getting here the the main uh, menu. Set menu bar test. And here I'm setting this menu menu bar. Uh, menu menu bar test. Alright, so I'm getting the menu bar and I'm getting from the menu bar all, all, all of my menus which I have in this menu bar. And then I need just to iterate. And it is always good to have actually practical some sort of a representation of it. Let me just quickly show you once again my FXML because I'm getting always a uh, problem we are with understanding traversing the hierarchy of the all control elements but it is actually not so difficult to grasp on so where is my where is my uh, menu okay so basically i have my menu bar here and here i have menu menus and i need to go until my menu link and then over iterate over all of the menus which i have here but then I need to be able to click on checkbox and then click other boxes. So basically in my test I am checking the box from one English uh, from 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 the checkbox name from from the checkbox name. Let me just quickly go the code so I basically will check from the German checkbox why because English checkbox is per default always um, checked in the another case when the preferences are loaded are loaded and you have in the preferences another box which can be set up this is some sort of a kind of different state of my UI so say, say, saying that it means only that I need to check not three languages but rather not, not four languages but three languages because I assume that one language is always set and yeah but I need to iterate over this menu what I'm doing and I need to get a hold of let me just show some trick which I have learned during my um, time when I did written automatic test for one of my customers so um, I need to get ID of the menu list let me just do that and this is what I need to get menu 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 link I'm writing here if condition because of a of the situation equals of course I'm using equals and here I am I basically don't need uh, yeah. yeah 
so I found my menu length and now I need to iterate further so the menu length which have many items and what I'm doing right now okay so currently currently I am making sure that I can select three different kind of languages not four but but three because one all language is always selected and I got the menu language and I need to iterate over it so let me just think of it how I will do next where is my example how I'm doing so so uh, get ID menu link now I need to get from the menu get get items and this is a observable list observable list of menu items and I will write here just uh, menu items link list I need to I did spelling mistake so now so here I have my list of the items which I have read from the menu and you can imagine like I don't know uh, you have basically where is my application so I can show you but the idea is pretty easy you have your menu and in the menu you have many items and you need to iterate over the, over the items here so this is a menu and here are the items which I need to iterate over and each item have the checkbox like so each item has a checkbox and I need to check how what happens when I check one of the boxes so I check the box check the step of all check the state of other boxes I pick another box check the status of the other boxes and so on and I am doing this practically one, two, three, three times. And the behavior of the checkboxes will be determined by the controller, which I haven't didn't written yet. But it is pretty easy to do that. And let's just write the test first. So I am I have my situation so basically here I have, I've got my list and now I need to iterate over this list and later I will just uh, re refactor my code to make it prettier but now I just need to get it working here yeah? so uh, menu list consists of a uh, menu items and I need to work with menu item think. Yeah. I will rename it like menu item and now I can output the names of the main item menu item Okay, now you see 
I have different kind of menu items English, German, Ukrainian, Russian and so on and this is not enough because I have structured my UI so that I have under under the menu item I have appropriate checkbox like I don't know here you see checkbox English here you see checkbox German checkbox Ukrainian checkbox RU for Russia and how I should go about that well I need to extract I need to extract extract the status of my checkboxes and it is kind of it was it took some time to understand how menu item stores the checkboxes but let me just give you some quick example it's always good to have a, an example of the code mm. yeah for example like like this so basically menu item stores let me just copy two lines here and basically how it works uh, I have here my code so I need to get graphic user element and from that I need to I use some casting for, for casting to the appropriate object type so basically I do here the same and let me just do that so what I'm doing I'm giving menu item and then I need to get get object get object menu item get object do I need to get a cast no, I don't need menu item get object yeah, why are they wanting to have a cast not sure what they mean so basically to, to be able to work properly I need to declare some variable here not a problem at all I will just write here check box chk box length box yeah I need to write it out because in Java fix you have checkbox and this is where I am storing the state and I need of course to do some cast checkbox yeah I'm not sure why let me just maybe it was eclipse bug sometimes happens get get, get graphic yeah it was some eclipse bug <coughs> but anyhow I got my box and now I just need to output the state of my box link box is selected and when I run my test I know the state of my boxes you see English box is selected and make me let's make let's make it obvious uh, so you can see what I'm doing uh, yep. get ID mm, 
not satisfied. Let me just put some. Yeah. And I need later to to refactor my code. But actually, what I'm doing. So you see, menu menu item English, menu item German, menu item Ukraine, menu item Ru. So it basically false, false, false. But now. But but now, what I need to do? If my box selected, let me just write here some. If I know I'm, I'm getting uh, almost at one hour, yeah. So basically, here I need to. Make sure that I am checking if box selected and if it is true and uh, and how how it should verify that all the boxes are not selected and basically. Basically, I need to count the times. So I expect, I actually expect only one, one option. Only one option is true. But I have four boxes. I have four boxes. One box. If all boxes are activated at the same time, this is not good. So basically, I need to each time I need to. Basically, the problem is is of of the behavior. I need to write a behavior. So if the box selected true, then I save it to my counter. I'm making counter that counter plus plus. Then I know at the second run, and if it is selected, then it is true, and so on and so on. But what about other states? States, other states. Mm. Think I'm still thinking about how I check of all of other states. Mm, let me shortly pause. I need to pause to think about it. Okay, I did figure it out. I need to further write my controller. So basically, how it goes? Let me just go to my whiteboard. I have, uh, let me just draw some picture, I have my boxes, one box, two box, three box and four box. When I run my for, for each, I counting, check it, boxes. Check here, check here, check here. So basically what my test will do. In the future, it will click on the box, run my for each, and count, check it, uh, check it boxes, and count uh, the box the state checked. So, like in my case, what I'm expect, I'm always expect to get one, because only one box is allowed to be checked. And I have written this test. It is not fully implemented, but I have my failing test. It fails. And you see the states. So basically, true, false, false, false. But I did not implement it, implemented the pressure where I click on button. 
run my check click on button run my check and so basically I need to do following I need to write a controller so let me just here my package controllers where I write controller and I create here package package view controllers and main menu control make no sense main menu controllers controller main menu basically main menu no. all right main menu and here I'm store will store the controller for the main menu and here I need to write my controller and this is a pretty simple class class wait a second can I use Java Java okay so I just write my class no problem and this would be like um main main form controller so i know for the fact for which of the controller it was created and here i need to implement a lot of stuff but but i will do only the stuff which i need to bound at the moment let me quickly look up the example how to write the controllers here i have example so you basically see that i need to declare all of the stuff and let's just do do it and so what i need to do let me just put it on another screen uh, main form controller I am putting fxml private and then I need to put my checkboxes first private checkbox and public class do I need to do some other stuff um, later maybe I, I, I will just edit so XML private checkbox and this is kind of mapping of what I have created in FXML so yeah I'm writing here the the checkboxes which, which I need to check private checkbox German and let me just do that again private check box for Ukrainian language and I need to use private check box yeah, it's kind of boring stuff, but mm, it's, pay, <laughs> it's essential to work it out. So I try to to manage my time best. So I have written my boxes, and I think I can actually create getters and setters here because you should use getters and setters too. It is kind of good style of operation so like this and now I have my boxes mentioned here and I'm writing here enough code to pass my test like TDD prescribes and 
this is what I need to do and how I do it so basically I need to write this event handling controller makes sense uh, no sorry I need to I need to write my initializer yeah I'm always try to reuse some code which I have found on the internet I mean to use kind of good practices to develop in developing and main form controller here initialize and the initializer as I as far as I understand it is a controller class uh, this method is automatically called after the fxml file has been loaded and what I should do and here I can put I can take this code and I can reuse this code but uh, I need to make some adjustments for this code I hope it is sick okay so um, let's just uh, do some coding further now I have my controller here and I have method per default method which uh, is always called when the fxml is loaded so this is basically the code where from where i got it initialize the controller classes uh, controller class this method is automatically called after the fxml has been loaded and it uh, what it does it uh, set an event set an action set the value of the property on action so it is basically let me yeah here is my box so it when the box when the box is activated it is it changing the state of the box which was activated but i need always to make sure that i Um, I should put it mm, deselect all other boxes so I have like uh, yeah I need to write some sort of handles of this and maybe I then optimize it but let's just try it out uh, so basically I have some prepared code here. Is this code? Uh, if yes, no box. Mm, I'm not sure that I like the style of this code. Yeah. But now I need to make sure following. So I'm doing the initialization of my English box. set on action set on action uh, event set on action event and then I need to use lambda expression event And then I need to use it following following stuff. And then okay. So basically, I am I'm making sure I'm making sure that I know 
through the whole uh, it, the initializer will be always called through all of the of my application and this is actually better than actually to expect from user to to activate the buttons because it, it you ha you can have another solution just like I don't know put some actions directly to the buttons in the fxml so different kind of solutions can happen but i need i like it actually this solution so checkbox english set on action event and let's just um, take it the state boolean selected then here i just write is selected and then i write here like this out and i write here controller sets set the english lang box check the hacker box to select it and as a proof of this i take my selected and then okay so this is what supposed to happen if you click on select now in, in, in order to be able uh, Uh, in order to be able to work with this, I need to yeah, I need to put here uh, a path to my controller. Let me just quickly think of it. So this is my path path to con controller controller class, and then uh, controller name. let me just save it close it and test it out basically i need to do some one manual test yeah, i need to i need to update my Let me just quickly update my clip. So basically, once again here. Okay, now you see the problem is uh, I put wrong um, path to my controller. And let me just quickly edit with FX XML. And I see I'm always at, mo at one hour, but. I need to make sure that I'm using here a proper controller. So this is a path which I have here, and in the example, open this. So you see package. Event handling controller Okay, and why I I think I forgot something uh, I know, I know, I know I, for, I forgot to put here the name of my controller I need to put the name. So basically, uh, main controllers view view views controllers main menu main yeah. So it works. It uh, needs some care. Let me just refactor. 
the name then I just need to put like so and then save it and update the view and then just run the application I hope it, it works yeah and you see I definitely got it right now <laughs> okay so controller set the England Eng English language checkbox to selected false now I need to ch click it here like on true cool once again so as you see it clearly wo works how I ex expect um, and let me just close not needed stuff and basically close this because I don't need it and now I just need to work with my controller let me do this so my controller controller set and I just like to use some verbose stuff here and let me just quickly put it like plus plus and then I just put here get ID I think it yeah to select selected to, st to state yeah just debug messages and here here I just need so basically now with this code um, it, it handles on the when the checkbox is set up so I, I'm getting the state of the English box and let's just run uh, my test. Uh, thus, uh, let me just run only one test, run unit test. Yeah, so basically I did not get any message of from the controller basically I need uh, let me let me see where I have my um, yeah here I just write here uh, message from test to be able to understand what actually happening and break break line so basically I did not invoke an event yeah that's that's cool and this is what I'm getting and I need to make here some pretty nice stuff but it is not so so important important is just to to be able to see the state of the check but uh, checks boxes yeah breaker and let me just execute it right once again yeah so message from test uh, where ha ah because uh, okay I know I know I know I know I just in included in the wrong place uh, because actually I need to write it here 
and of course I need my system out println and code become some mess, messy messy code and like it yeah but this is what it looks you develop some things in your test to make it yeah to make it right forgot to, to use uh, right semicolon so yeah so you see message from test true false 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 and this is what I actually expect from my test to observe now true false 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 this is the initial situation of my application and then when I run my application like a manual test go to link check actually I need to handle uh, invocation of the main 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 so I need to state in my code that I can actually handle this so basically here when I pick the checkbox I see control set the checkbox state to false and when I do this other way you see controller set the checkbox English to stay true so it works it works mm, now I need to think about all of my other stuff in my controller let me just pause and quickly show you the result of my work hello so sorry guys uh, my micro was not put on so basically I managed um, the test doesn't look it does not look so well as I expected but it working and have a lot of code yeah, I know but I think it is rather a nature of the UI that you need a lot of things to be set up it and executed let me just go through so what I'm doing here I have written this test testing for different language menu checkboxes and language menu items and I'm just clicking here and look up if only one checkbox is selected now I execute my test you see and all pass so how exactly I know that I'm okay well I have my test what actually test are is doing so you see I have here my comments which execute uh, which have strings of comments the same goes for the checkboxes I'm getting my menu list which I need to iterate over and then I just go to my iterator so the order is following I'm calling iterate over menu list and find menu with long let me just I think it's pretty pretty refactor rename it so iterate over menu list and let me just and delete and find menu with long check boxes and this is basically better so this method gets the list of menus and then it goes through all of the menus and I'm looking for special menu which is menu link it is a language menu where I can select one need I need to select only one checkbox and click on menu item which represents language of the program so here I am calling a method state where only one box selected uh, this method mm, pretty 
Okay, so this method. Mm, let me just yeah. This mm, actually this is not a method. This is variable. Um, it calls uh, gets the value from iterate over length menu items and click them. So this method when it called it returns boolean value. So basically what it does it gets over menus items length list. So I have four menus for different kind of languages and I clicking on the checkbox and I so basically here I'm uh, getting off get hold of a menu item which represents language and in this menu item I have the checkbox with appropriate language state so basically if you think of it of the hierarchy and let me just show you so basically I'm speaking about here is my menu item and at, at each item let me open the correct one here I have menu item and each item have the checkbox so I'm asking actually this checkbox and after I get an access to the checkbox I'm passing it through to another method and I'm passing not only my checkboxes but I pass uh, the result of my list of my me menus item item menus yeah and this is a method iterate over long checkbox and I'm actually iterating many boxes let me just correct some minor mistake uh, so iterate over long checkboxes and and menu item click click them I prefer shortened name. So this method gets all needed stuff. It gets comments for for the checkboxes, comments for the language item menu, and it gets the state where only one box selected. So basically now I need to work it out. So here. I verify is if the language box which is checkbox is selected it is selected and I'm making sure through this variable boolean variable now I click on the menu link it's a like main it's like main main menu and after doing so, I call another method. This method executes one command at one iteration of my loop. Let me just quickly show. So here I have no loop, but the loop is actually happens in the. Let me just quickly tell you tell you where it happens it happens here here are uh, happened at, at is here at execution time of this for loop I execute the command one command for checkbox and one command for the menu item so I am basically clicking one time on the checkbox and one time on the menu item accordingly and when each time uh, each time when when I'm doing so so basically the first time when I'm getting to this method I know that I have already selected a checkbox now I just need to pick up another box and I have some and I, and I have a special counter simple counter it starts from from zero uh, for the language item menu and one for the checkboxes and it goes uh, it clicks it clicks and clicks and it goes in the way 
The check boxes clicked in the order English, English, German, Ukrainian, Russian. But the menus, uh, item menus clicked in the another way. So in, in the inverse way. And you see clearly when I execute my test. Uh, where is my test? Here's my test. Oh, wrong, 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 wrong. Let me just. Uh, yeah. I need to click it through the JUnit test. So basically, see that it works. And. Yeah. Pretty, pretty. Maybe I rewrite this test some na na another day, but it is sufficient. So, but this test was uh, possible only after that. Then after the case where I have written my controller for my main menu, and here you have main controller. So, as I said earlier, I'm using initialize method to to make sure that I'm getting all that so normally you bind some stuff in your uh, fxml file through the scene builder but I'm actually prefer to use it this way I think this is actually a better way to use it so because uh, then I have only one place to put the controller and here it's what happens. I have a set on action event, and this happens on the checkboxes, and the same happens to the menu item boxes. But what I've done, the first I have written this method: select English checkbox, select German checkbox, select Ukrainian, and so on and so on. These methods are what doing what doing these methods and the these methods are pretty simple um, here I am verifying that the box which I need to check is activated it is selected and all other boxes are deactivated and the activation happens like for example for yeah it happens through this method this methods define which type of language do I want to use I passing the appropriate language here to this method and according to the language I call the variation so it's basically a method where depending on the situation I disable the boxes so like for example for Ukraine I need to disable English I mean for disabling um, let me just shortly yeah here here this method with this method I unselect languages which I don't need when I need to select Russian language and the same goes for the uh, another language so for example like for the Ukrainian I don't need all other languages and the pattern repeats itself Maybe it's not not 100% best solution, but it works. So basically, this is all about controller. Another thing to add, I'm sure I have now some sort of, some sort of a small problem because my FXML can be depends on this controller. But I can I can even uh, add in my FXML um, additional controllers, and I think actually not to do much work in this controller because it become to let me just wait here. It was forgotten. It becomes some sort of a mess. I mean, sure, you can read this code, but with getter and setters, and if I add here a source code, getters and setters, 
for my menu item elements it gets even larger so basically I need to point out in my FXML that I have more than one controller and, and this is actually allowed this is actually allowed um, basically I will use some YouTube tutorial which I have seen I think it is allowed to use more than one controller in, in FXML and then you can do some stuff uh, front controller to front, front controller communication but anyhow this is the way how I solve my problem and if I start my application at the end of my result I go to link I can click to English it is the, it is activated because I clicked on English but when I click on here it is activated too so English is activated then it is always English so I'm repeat again when I click on the menu item it is selected and when I click to the checkbox it is selected too the same behavior goes to the another items like for German it is selected and when I click again on the checkbox it is selected too and other on and all other boxes are deselected I mean they are not selected and the same goes for other language and so on and so on but I did make sure that all variations are counted and yeah this is the power of unit test and now for even more interesting stuff uh, let me just execute my maven test and let me just delete this xml auto and now when i execute my maven test all tests will be executed yeah it takes some time to initiate surefire test and now you see testing 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 it calls my application all right finally so here you go 137 test test pass it best with GUI test and that's it so thank you for your time and I hope you learned something I have learned I learned a lot and till then bye bye